Well, welcome to the Straight From The Heart Show. I'm Yitam Almaraz. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Today we've got Coach Frank Sagasta, Shane the Train, and Cheyenne R. Miller. Welcome, guys. Hello, hello, brother. How are we doing? How are we doing, everybody? We, we're doing really well here in the UK, so nice to see all three of you together. Nice to see you. It's, it's great to see you, brother. It's weird. Everything Love it. Happened. It's been really weird. Uh, Technology is amazing, happened. though. All of us are here, here. today talking. Yeah. So where are you now, guys? We are in Gettysburg. Gettysburg, man. We are, we are in the heart of where things change for America, where everything actually took place and made movement, where actions actions were taking place for 50 51,000 soldiers never came home. We're in the heart of it right now. Wow. And how, how's your trip been, Coach? How's your trip been <laughs> to meet Shane? <laughs> My trip, this is the icing on the cake, but first I got to get home. Hey, Chrissy, we got we to make dinner, so we're going to do a little live a little later. It's, it's, it's going to be cooking with Coach in the kitchen. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait. So uh, my trip has been phenomenal. Literally, this is diamonds. Like, people don't understand what kind of sacrifice that even my family put in just for me to get to this point to get here and put my dream into action, put my vision into action and make the dream come reality. And that's you taking action. And, guys, there's a demonstration of taking action. And yesterday, as soon as you got into PA, something new was born. And Shane knows what was born. Shane, what was born What's yesterday? Up? What's that? Yesterday, what happened in PA, the surprise? Uh, yesterday was a huge surprise. Like, uh, you know, I, I knew when I saw Stacy uh, cross without the E, Stacy without the E cross, I saw her in Grand Cardone. I fell in love with her. She was, you know, I'm like, yo, that's my girl. So, and then I saw her on Frank's broadcast and knew how much Frank and her you know, adored each other. So I was like, yo, let me see if I can't put this together. God put it together, not me. It, yo, it's sleeting. Hold on. So this is snowing it, right now. Like, this is crazy what, what just happened. But anyway, so we went down there and we changed the game. You know, uh, you, Tam, that's what you're doing. That's what Terrence, the whole tribe, all of us are doing. Frank, Cheyenne, the whole tribe is changing the game. That's what we're doing. We're changing the game because, you know, what we did last night was epic for social media. Hundred percent. And now, Cheyenne, can you can you tell people a bit about yourself? Because every day I tell them about you. Today will be amazing. They can hear you straight from the horse's mouth. Well, um, <laughs> where do How's I your day been, start? First of all? I mean, so my name is Cheyenne, and like I owned my in-home daycare. Um, and I did that for, you know, a while. And then, like, just back on August 10th, I got hit by a heroin addict. He crushed both of my legs between his vehicle and my vehicle. Um, it landed me, obviously, in the hospital. Um, and I'm now just pretty much fighting to get my left leg to be working and to get my prosthetic. And get back to where I was. Um, it's been a long road so far. It's going to be a long road for a while yet, but I'm willing to do what I need to do to get to where I need to be. So. And you're, you're always strong. You're always going positively. You've got some amazing people around you. And yeah. I said to, I'll tell you every day you're going to make it. You're going you're gonna to have a smash in life soon. You don't know what's ahead of you. Get ready for 2017. That is a promise I'm making to you. So. I um, I definitely pray for that. I hope for that. Um, you know, it's it's important. I want to be able to. Um, I know that I can't say that I'll ever have a normal life again, but if I can have, uh, close to where I was, I'm okay with that. You know, um, I just. To me, it's really important to get my left leg functioning properly um, because, you know, I've been going through a hard time with it. Like, I mean, it's, I can have motion in it and stuff like that. And I've 
weight bearing on it, but I just wanted to be able to function like it did when I, you know, before the accident. And I don't know if it will or not, and, um, but I'm going to keep on trying. I'm going to see what I can do. So. Never quit, never quit. And okay. how do you see life now after the accident? Um, well, first, I'm more aware of everything, my surroundings. Um, I'm very like, I, I kind of find myself being nervous with a lot of stuff now. Um, but I know that maybe over time that will go away, you know, maybe some of the, the daring side of me will come out again. Um, but you know, I just, I look at like that. I'm just, I'm thankful to be here. I, I died. They brought me back. Um, you know, and if it wasn't for all the people that helped me, you know, and God, I don't know that I would be here. And um, I just got to, like, keep moving forward and just keep on doing. Because if, if I stop doing, then where am I going to be? I'm not going to be Cheyenne. I'm not going to be, you know, the person I was before and I want to be that person that I was before that happy, like fun giving person that I always been. So. And, and you will get that back, but in a different, in a different capacity. Yes. You're going to be changing so many lives. You've, you're already changing so many lives, people hearing your story and you're not yeah. even speaking yet. Definitely. So you, you, your life is going to actually be so much different that you're, you're not even going to recognize your life now. I know. It's going to be, I would say, even better in, in, in different ways, in different ways. So you just have to pick out the positives as usual, as I always right. think about the positives. And you've got Coach Frank just behind you. Yeah. You can't go wrong. You've got Shane right next to you. Frank, what words can you give to our sister right now? Let's, let's just hit this off for our sister, man. Uh, you know, the biggest, the biggest words is definitely is commitment. You know, when you stay committed at what you want in life, you see the results. And I've always, I've always expressed that to a lot of people is, you know, stay committed equals results. You know, and the results will equal happiness. I know that for a fact. You know, the living proof, I, you know, definitely like I've shared before with everybody listening is, you know, we could sit here and we can moan about what, what's going on in our life, but we could get busy living and, and, and accomplishing our goals and doing the things that we really want for ourselves. And that's exactly what she's doing. She's trying every single day. She's battling every single day. She's, you know, I, I said this last week or, or this week before last, but I said you, we can't be warriors or, or warriors, you know, uh, or we, should, we should be warriors. Don't be a warrior. Be a warrior. <laughs> warrior. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it really does come down to that, man, is, you know, put yourself around people that are definitely going to help you and encourage you each and every single day versus people that are going to bring you down or, or, or even the, the media or television or radio or newspapers, articles. It doesn't matter. But if you're finding any type of negativity in, in the world in those areas, and it's time to walk away and surround yourself around greatness and you start seeing and feeling a whole lot better. You know, I want to share something with you, brother, and I and I know that you I know that you'd be challenged to do something like this, but I heard it to be true that if we eat of our blood type, eat of our blood type, that we'll see a much broader scope of who we are in the world. Wow, interesting, right? I found I researched that I researched that, and I found that very interesting. I shared that with Stacey A. Cross last night, um, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. That's gonna be my my my. My promise for 2017 is to see how, you know, 21 days is 21 day commitment, 21 day challenge and uh, grind on that. See, that's, that's the good thing that like you just said, surround yourself with great people. And we, we can actually vouch for that, the greatness that we have around us. I have you, I have Shane, Cheyenne, I've got Keenan White and also people in the UK that I have around us. And that's right. We'll, I'd like to join, join in on that for you, that 21 days, you know, so oh. one another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's accountability. do that. Accountability. I know mean, that's one of your favorite things, accountability. So yes. How, yes. how important is accountability, would you say? Yeah, what's that, brother? 
How important is accountability? Accountability is very important, you know, and surrounding yourself with accountability, you know, accountability partners or family is, is, is just as important. You know, we, when you think about being the victim, there's so many people that are the victims. And what I mean by that is the people that are blaming, putting blame on everything else. And, and they're saying, what was me? What was me? But when you take accountability, responsibility for being accountable for who you are and where you are and where you're going in life, then you're able to put your hand up and you're able to say, you know what? I believe it. Embrace it and live it. You, you just broke up there, so didn't hear. So I want, yeah, so, you know, being, account, being accountable is, you know, being able to stand up and say, hey, I'm going to embrace this, I'm going to change this, and I'm going to live it. Exactly. And Shane. Yeah. Give your take on on what we've just been talking about, accountability, taking action, and how important it is, because you're a man of action. You're always on the grind, morning, day, and night. And how do you do it, my brother? Give well, uh, the thing is, I, when, I when I finally figured out that I'm only letting me down, I was like, bro, like all that game you put into other people, talking about other people, worrying about other people, trying to help other people, yo, put the game into you like that. So all that stuff I put into video games, I put into TV, I put into complaining. I know, Frank, you're going to want to see these, so I'm going to pull them. So, so I just said, you know what, Shane, it's time to put the game into you. And I can't control anybody else, right? But I can control myself 100%. So now what I do is I control the Shane train. It's on you, Cheyenne. I control the Shane train, and that's what I do. You know, it's about, it's about never wanting to be perfect, but always putting all the perfectness in your heart. Like, like your only place you should be perfect is knowing that God made you perfect, right? And that your heart is perfect. And if you lean into the good, if you lean into the positive, and if you fight and shed the negative, if you fight for yourself, if you fight for yourself, like you fight for barbecues to go to barbecues, if you fight for yourself, like you fight for free food, if you fight for yourself, like you fight to go on vacation when you can, if you fight like that, like, here's the deal. You take off on Friday and you do everything and spend money you don't have to be broke on Monday. If you spent that time to rise above and have patience, if you plan on being alive in five years and 10 years, make little, little progress, man. The more you change the mind, the more you change the results. Everything that comes through the mind goes into the speak. Whatever comes from the speak goes into the action. That's it. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. And here's the deal is we put ourselves here. When you realize that you are the problem, then you realize that you are the solution. Golden nuggets. <laughs> Shane, Shane, Shane. So how, how did the Shane train start coming about for the people that don't know? Well, I was 17 years old and uh, I was a telemarketer and I, they wanted me to run a 75 station telemarketing room when I was 20 years old. And there were all these people like me that were drug addicts and partiers and and just we're trying to make money to party. Like I, we worked for Friday and Saturday. So, you know, they were broke and I had to figure out how to rally these troops and get them to believe that the money that they were getting paid this garbage money, that they could actually be these amazing people. And now all these people that are coming back into my life, like you'll see Vince Tellerico from Fattori Realty and, and Dave um, Honey, and you'll see all these people in my past that, that, that I that touched in some way. And, if you ask them, I've had the same energy. Like I am living because I am dying. So, so, so how I got started was to realize this and said, dude, you obviously have this amazing amount of energy that God put in you to be able to keep going and going and going and tell your story. So uh, it was in the creation of the Shane train. Um, that was like things like the, 211 degrees water's hot at 212 degrees it boils so it's the little things and when i was like the little things make a big difference then i wanted to be the big difference so i was going to make little changes little increments and and i show like i wish i would have started when i was 17 and had social media but i showed from january 9th what it looks like to be when you totally focus with um an unhuman amount of focus and and talent and all when, God, when you give everything to God and God makes you the fish, man, it's amazing with faith and God. So, and for the people that also don't know Shane, Shane 
goes about giving donuts every week out of his own pocket. You know, this, this is why the world is changing. This is, this is who Shane is. Don't look at Shane thinking he's loud, he's, he's the crazy man, he's this and that. Look what's, what's underneath of what Shane is doing. Shane is the man. Look at him, look at him there. The guy calls me every morning to make my Yo, you know what? Yeah, because we're the tribe, man. We need to lift each other up. We are great. Every one of us is great. Thanks. And I love you and your family, and I can't wait till you come to York. We're in Gettysburg. This is where our country started, and this is where we're going to bring the greatness back in York, Pennsylvania. York, Pennsylvania is the second 10X nation. This is going to be the second headquarters of the 10X with the Ray of Boods, you know, the people that are out there getting things done. This is going to be Ask Robert Sislow, the video genius. Ask him. Say hi to Robert. Hi, Rob. Tell him how much you loved your shirt you got from Grant. Oh, my gosh. I did love it. We love everyone. <laughs> See, we don't, but listen, the reason we do it is because we love ourselves, man. Because we yeah. know that we're progression. We're not perfection. Perfection is infection. Yeah. Right? Look at the crazy stuff we do on social media. Last night, we blew up the globe last night with social media. Nobody knew what was coming. Did anybody know what was coming? You did. And Terrence and my wife. What did it look like knowing what you saw last night? It, it, was, it was magical. Like I said to you when I spoke to you, you went from here and you raised the level, you raised the bar, you raised everything. You, people know what you're about, Shane. The people know, the real people know what you're about. That's why the tribe is growing. We've got a genuine tribe around us. And you're doing phenomenal work, as you know already. So just just keep keep doing what you're doing, and that's that's amazing. And how how do you find the drive, Shane, in the mornings? How do you? Get um, is is when I breathe. Like I'm always putting more artillery into my ammunition, right? So so my ex-wife who died of cancer, my my people doubting me, people saying I can't. And, and people just imagining someone say, I told you so. Yo, just hearing that up in the air, like I leave that as bait for me to keep going. I told you so. Oh, no, I'm the only one that told me so. Yo, God told me so. You didn't tell me so. You're not going to have those words because I'm going to make sure you don't have those words. And that's why I grind like, no. listen, people are like, yo, they thought it when I showed them the world what ultra grind looks like, what the grind from the deepest, deepest part of your soul and to do it at 47 years old yo i'll run circles around anybody because guess what it proves grind and you all grind with me i mean you guys are all the same i love you all because yo you all are up at these insane hours and it's a tribal thing y'all motivate me nelson what's up love you susan robert sislo what's up robert yo, so, you, you, shane grinds a little bit harder than all of us though because the the, the lives that he do he's the he's the life king He's the face, Facebook Life King. There's no one in the world in doing it. And sh this is Shane. Shane, how many videos have you done this year? I think, well, uh, since this year, it would be uh, well over 3,000. But since Facebook Live started, I've been kicked off a month. If you look at, at the end of my video, oh, which we'll have to look at, it's at 1,000, I think 500 or 600. There you go. Consistently, consistently. We, even, we, love, we love you and Rena and the kids. We love you all from here, as you know. It's a, it's a big family growing, and it's, it's amazing what's happening with, with all of us. And it's, it's your vibe that attracts your tribe, as you know, Shane. So, so ask Coach. I'm sorry to interrupt you. No, ask Coach what he thinks about. Was it what he thought? You know, the man, listen, the man flew from the other side of the country, right? He got here. He drove three hours. Ask him if he even stepped on my property. Ask him about what happened and what, like, I can't, I can't imagine what he's thinking. He's amazing right there behind me, Coach Sagasta. Coach, so answer that question, my brother. What was it like when you step in there on the property? It was, uh, it was, uh, there was no, there was no step off the property. I traveled two hours, two hours, 200 miles over to Nevada or to Las, to Las Vegas to get on a plane to travel. 2,156 miles and then get on another vehicle and travel another 150 miles to Philadelphia to build our sister Stacy A. Cross. So, you know, how I felt was unmovable, Un, you know, just unmovable with energy, 
you know, with, with, with tenacity and with ambition to just be able to move stars, move mountains. That's how much it felt when I first entered the room and it didn't, it didn't stop that feeling, that overwhelming feeling did not move, you know, until I woke up this morning and realized, whoa, I'm a PA, like, whoa, check this out. Like, it's green here. Like, when I got up this morning and did the, you know, the morning, the morning show, no sugar, my coffee, I'm in the backyard of the 1% show, Shane the Train, you know what I'm saying? And that feeling, what people don't understand is that feeling can be accomplished by anybody. And anybody, when I say it, but when you have, you have to put action to it. You have to put action and amounts, amounts, amounts of effort or else it'll never come true. So I felt phenomenal. I still feel phenomenal because I'm here. I'm here on, I'm here on Gettysburg, my friend. How much sleep have you had? Three hours. Three hours of sleep. And was any of this planned, really? I mean, we had the one thing we were going to do, which was here. We don't plan nothing. We just go. But hustle. we stay busy, don't we? We stay busy. No, we're late for everything. <laughs> just, just go with the flow. We got cooking with coach in your house right now. We got to get. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and also, coach, this morning when, when, you were, when you were picking up the leaves and you were looking at the leaves, that showed your genuine gratitude. There you I go. have one with me. Oh. He's just showed you the leaf there. So the gratitude I, that this guy's had, this, this, this is what life should be about, genuine. And I want to ask you this question for everybody as well. You've met Shane now in, in person. What is he really like in person? Let everybody know. He, he's, he's, every, he's everything that he applies when you see him live. And believe me when I tell you that, he's everything he applies when you see him live. So when you see my man hustling, my man is hustling. When you see him showing love to the community, he's showing love to the community. I always tell people, you know, the biggest contribution, the biggest reward is your contribution in life. Like Martin Luther King once said, the urgent and persistent question that should always be asked is what you did for others. And I can honestly in the test that my man is putting out that. So, you know, that's exactly why he's being rewarded. You know what I'm saying? He's being rewarded. And I expect and I expect great things in 2017. Like, like we've been saying, that's, that's what's going to happen. And it's just phenomenal what you guys are doing and the work that you're doing. And you're just grinding it out morning, day and night. And this is Coach's second time on the podcast. And it's, it's so amazing having you here. And Thank I'm going to let, let you, Frank and Shane and Cheyenne, just free flow now. Just drop some nuggets, Shane. What advice can you be giving to people who are... I would... I would tell you the best advice I would tell anybody is get comfortable with yourself because until you get comfy cozy with you, because you, you go to bed with you, you wake up with you, you do everything with you, right? So nothing's going to happen until you get comfy with you. So whatever that is for you, you got to get it because once you get that, then everything is obtainable because then what you do is you solely focus on the things that you want to obtain. So people say to Shane, they're like, Shane, what do you do? And this is amazing to say this. It feels great. I do everything. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? There's no retire. Like, what is retire? What, what are you saying that I'm useless? What am I retiring from? Like, that's one of the things where society, we need to have our older generation and our younger generation connection, you know? And like Coke, like Coach says, through cooking, that's a great way. With the senior center, like I've been fighting – for a senior center that's going to open. It's going to be all community-based, no government. Here's the thing about the government, y'all. They're too expensive to do business with. You know, they've sold out to lobbyists, and you have to be a lobbyist to get something done. Well, us people that pay the taxes for the, you know, we don't have that kind of funds. So what we need to do is we just need to, we are the people, guys and girls, that are doing this. So if we just eliminate them, we can do all the things. Like, I mean, if we put the entrepreneur together and we're getting together, let's we're going to use York as a mega like equation to go outward as a raindrop because it's the first capital of the United States. Obviously, I was placed here to be a part of this, and it's going to be fundamentally. Look, how many people do we stop to say hi to like anywhere, anytime? Like, how about the how about the soldier that we saw, right? You know, and we got to say thank you to that soldier. He's he got his son there, and they saw his dad get thanked. Like, that had to feel good to him, right? So, we're in Gettysburg. Check this out. There's the majestic. Um, concert. Wow. So, it's amazing. So, free falling. If you guys want to jump in, 
most people don't know this about me, but I'd rather listen than talk. I know it doesn't. I like to ask questions. What I like to do is I like to be the one. I love asking questions. But I will say anything. I just don't like people thinking I'm hogging up the airtime because that's not how I operate. <laughs> Show them the Gettysburg Hotel. It's right here. Yeah, you can talk as much as you want, bro. You always drop in nuggets and drop in scents. And we've, we've, got, we've got a coach at the back. He, he's a man of knowledge. How many books have you read this year, coach? 41 books this year. 41 books. And they, say not, they, say, they say knowledge is power, and that's just half the truth. The reality is organized and applied knowledge is power. Do you hear me? So it has to be organized and applied to your life. Then you get knowledge. You, you get power. But if you don't, if you don't, if you don't do it in that order, then there is no true power. Exactly. And for the people that want to quit right now, I want to tell you guys: Look, Frank, you got me, you've got Cheyenne, and you've got Shane. Our backgrounds, especially me, Shane, and Frank, we we didn't come from a good place. We didn't start off well. We we had a life of crime. We've been exposed to so many things: homelessness. Uh, Shane had this eating disorders, things like that. But look at us now. I'm, I'm 37. I'm 30, oh, I'm getting young. I'm 39. You're 37. He's 47. And we're still doing it. And it's never too late. Yeah. To start, guys, it's never too late. It's, it's, just look at it. The proof is there. The proof is right. there. And what do you have to add to that, guys? I would have to say, you know, how, how, can, how can you get what you want and lose what you need? How can you get what you want and lose what you need? You have to go through the trials and tribulations in life to get what you absolutely want. You know what I'm saying? This is not, we're, we're, I'm, not, I'm not asking you to rub my lamp and a genie pop out. I'm not asking you to chase the rainbow and get the leprechaun because that's just want, 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 want. You got to get the need. The need is so essential to your growth. You need information. You need great support. You need the trials and tribulations. Frederick Douglass once said, you know, that without, without struggle, there is no progress. And that's a true fact. You have to go through the struggle in order to get progress. And you have to fall in love with the progress. You have to be obsessed with the progress in order to see great results. Amen. 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 You know, yes, um, you know if, if, yeah, I have third nuggets. I know. She doesn't want to throw nuggets, so I would tell you this. Oh, that's cool. You do it on her behalf. Go on. Yeah, yeah. I'm tired. Um, um, I would tell you this. We wore her out today. I would tell you this, that, you know, you're only quitting on yourself. It's never too late to start. It's never too late to stop something and restart something else either, okay? So we get caught in this society of completion. So what, what, what that does is offers failure on the other side. And what I'm telling you is just because you were a plumber, electrician, and you decide that you don't like that, you're not a failure. What you are is a discoverer. And discoverers don't find things right away. They look for them. And so how you become a discoverer is go look for stuff that's in your heart and, and, and in your soul and have the guts to do it. Like, that's huge nugs right there. Thank you so much. Coach, how do people follow you? You can follow me on YouTube, Periscope, uh, Snapchat, Instagram, um, yeah, Facebook. It's Coach Coach Sagasta, Frank Sagasta. You can reach me there, and uh, you know that's where it's at, man. Shane, talk about your website, brother. Uh, Shane, yep, ShaneTheTrain.com. That's really the only place you need to go. Um, you go there, and you'll know. I mean, I'm the Facebook Live King, so I'm on Facebook pretty much all the time and every night at 11 o'clock, seven days a week. I'm on – tonight I think it's 51 days left. If anybody wants to join the journey, I started on January 9th. It's God willing it will be 365 days. You want to talk about consistency? Most people can't even do one thing consistently, let alone for, for going on 51 days left. So if you want to challenge yourself, I challenge you to do this. Jump on. Um, the 1% show at 11 o'clock for the last 51 days to bring this thing to January 9th. Force yourself to be uncomfortable in the holidays and be up at 11. You'll be sharp. Sharpen that steel. Sharpen the steel, guys. Thank you so much, all of you, for being amazing guests. We get it. Choo-choo. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being amazing guests. Can I get a choo-choo from everyone here? Choo-choo. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> Come on, say it. Say it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Cheyenne. I'm, I'm going to sign out from Straight From The Heart. Thank you for tuning in. And like I was finished, live well with one another because if we don't, what's the point?